At this time, we're going to have a tribute. Sure 
of your gifts and sure about what you're supposed to be doing. But eventually, it'll come out of you. And she has a way of reminding you or trying to push you towards um, the things that God has called you to, even if you don't understand what direction you're going in. And that's what I, I come to understand about her. Now, she is argumentative about what is that you're going to do because if she's sure about something there is no in between it's always that that on point type of thing with her and I understand that you have to get it done or it just cannot be done and that's just her and you will become offended if you don't know her yeah, with a lot of stuff she does do. Half the time, I don't understand what we're doing. I just roll with it. My answer to her is like the Lord, yes and amen. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but that's just her. So, you know, and many of her, many of you are her friends. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a newbie. I'm a newbie. I, I'm still learning both of them. I'm still learning how they operate. I'm still learning um, how they want things done. I do listen well, and some things, even if I don't agree with it, I listen well, but I kind of just throw my own twist into it, and so they do allow me to do that, and that I do appreciate, you know, because you can bump heads at the end of the day. It's trying to get ministry done, trying to get it completed, and trying to do it, and I'm one of those people who are OCD. If it's not in the right form, I kind of just fall off the map. It has to be done in the spirit of excellence. Yeah. And that's what I believe in. Amen. And that, that I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change. So she is like to him oil and water. So when they do mingle together, they kind of stick. They do to me, they're like oil and water. Oil and water does not mix together. One kind of clashes. But at the end of the day, there's an agreement at the end of the day. And that's the reason why I love them both. They're all in water, but at the end of the day, there's an agreement. We don't see the agreement, and I don't like to disagree in front of people because that's not y'all business. I don't like for them to disagree and agree, you know, behind the scene. And we don't see that, and I'm glad about it. I really am. At the end of the day, again, it's them agreeing to do ministry to allow those who have gifts that you do not understand allow you to operate in your gifts and I love them I love them and I'm going to tell you now this is a church where they feed you too so if you miss breakfast lunch and dinner Lady Speed will feed you I have learned that she will a child she will help you gain weight independence she will because she likes to pass the hall am I fine all right now. I, got, I don't need but one witness. I don't need all y'all. I love her because I'm telling you, I like to go break bread with them. I love that because to me, that's hospitality. That's showing love. That's the way she shows love. And I love that. Everybody don't show love no more. They say it, but it's not really love. It really isn't. And so I really appreciate the love that I get from this church. Sister Linda, Mother Ava, Sister Rosalyn. I love us. It's a few of us, but as Deacon Chapman, I love us because we show love to everybody that comes through the door. And this is the reason why I love Pastor Gow and Lady Speed, because there is love here. Amen. There is love. There is support. Amen. You can't get love and support nowadays because everybody is I, I, I. I don't like that word I. I like that we, that unity. And this is the part that I love about being here. And most of all, not because of them, because the Spirit of the Lord does rest in this place. And I do not go anywhere where there is not the Spirit of the Lord. I don't care. You can't, you can say what you want. You can't run me everywhere. I'm not tossed and turned. That's not me. I don't roll to all the drums that beat. I'm one of those people. I listen to my own beat and I beat to my own drum. And this is where the Lord rests. This is where his anointing rests. And that's all I need. That's all I need. It's where the Lord dwells. Where he goes, I follow. That's it. I love Pastor Gal. He is um, a man that eats a lot of sugar. <laughs> and um, I did, I got to confess, I did contribute to his um, sugar habit. Um, that wasn't good. Lady Speed, I'm so sorry. But um, 
Sometimes you have to give men what they want, even if it's bad for them. And that was bad. So, I mean, I'm so sorry that I did that, Pastor. Forgive me, Jesus. So, I did. And I love him because he is a, a, a man of humility, a man of support, a man who is very kind-hearted, a man who will give the very shoes off his feet, even if he needs them. And, and it's sad that sometimes things can be taken for granted, but I'm not here to take them for granted. I'm here to love them, looking for nothing in return. Nothing, because I look towards God who helps me, who blesses me, who does everything. I'm looking to be blessed. He said, the Bible says it's better to give than to receive. I'm not here to receive from them, but allow me to come into his house and receive the spirit of the Lord. That is the only reason why I'm here. It's pure genuine. Most people can't say that. I don't know what everybody else's reasons are, but that is my reason. And I really love them. I really, really, really do. We like family. We don't agree. We agree to disagree. That's every family. So that's why I can say. And like me, me and Deacon Chapman, we all disagree. I disagree with him. Me and, me and um, Lady Reese was putting the church together, and we didn't agree. Because she wanted to put one on. So I'm like, that don't look right. She's like, oh, excuse my decoration. <laughs> You want this again? I'm like, break it down. They was like, you, you a slave driver until it is completed. I am done slave driving. Can't take you nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confessing my fault. Wonderful, all y'all. But I really appreciate everybody's time. I really appreciate them for having their doors open to to people from far and near and everywhere. Their doors are not closed. Pastor Steve, if you need him, call him. He will come and see about you, even when he's tired, exhausted, he don't feel like it. He puts his feelings, emotions, and everything aside just to attend to you. And she does as well. So this is my this is my love that I I can't say enough. I, I just can't say enough for the kindness. I really cannot. And thank you for allowing me to, to either show some of my gifts that I so try to keep back and try not to use so much of them. Because people sometimes can get offended by your gifts. They think you're trying to show off and do whatever. But that's not my intention. My intentions are to just do and help you all go further. That's it. But Sister Brenda, though, if y'all want to eat, though, just she'll take you out to eat. She will. I promise you. If it ain't no place shabby, you know, like people want to pull you to a drive-thru and get you that two for ten, you won't get no two for ten for her. You get a whole good meal. For real. God bless you.